may approach. Your Majesty, an apology is in order. The Federation... Oh, spare us your apologies, your excuses, your pathetic explanations. You said you were here under the pretense of peace, yet you trespassed into our minds. I should have known you were lying when you said the Hotari should have control of the minds. <laughs> Just a ruse to conceal your true intentions. We knew you were hiding something. We had to find the truth. I hope you were satisfied with what you found. Your Majesty, if I may. Her actions nearly caused a war. I was addressing the Queen. Galvin speaks for the Hotari now. Fortunately, we were able to resolve this ourselves despite your interference. The Illidians have agreed the mines will remain under Hotari control. We now recognize the Hotari as the sole authority in this region. Your presence here is no longer necessary. So you can consider the matter resolved? That makes no sense. What did they do to you? They convinced us that this was the best deal we were going to get. I thank you for coming. But the sooner the Federation leaves, the better. The hell we will, Captain. What about my crew trapped aboard that ship? Or what you did to my security team? The data you stole? I want to make one thing clear. No one is to leave Otari space without Federation approval. No one. You think you have that power, when in fact you have none. You came here under the presumption you would be the ultimate authority. That you would show up and render judgment in this petty dispute over precious resources between lesser people. But instead, your arrogance and self-interest was your undoing. Blinding you to the real power at work here. Something far beyond your feeble imagination. We came at your request. To help solve the problem, not you create came one. Because I wanted to see the mighty Federation for myself, the greatest power in the galaxy. Needless to say, I was disappointed. They never wanted our help. They were setting us up from the start. Commander Rydex saw what you did in those mines. How you bioformed innocent people against their will and turned them into Takan. hundreds of thousands of light years and trillions of Taconians. An empire that encompassed what is now considered Federation territory. What's yours was what's ours. So it feels only right that we reclaim what was lost. Everything you hold dear will be gone. The first of many painful losses to come. You won't get away with this. You'll be held accountable by the Federation. I already have gotten away with it. And the Federation has no authority here. Not anymore. You might be surprised how many want to be part of the most advanced civilization the galaxy has ever seen. We will not stop until we've reclaimed what is rightfully ours. Imagine what a queen a starship captain or even a Federation ambassador could accomplish if their power was wielded by a truly superior entity. In the face of such impossible odds against an adversary so clearly more advanced in every way, the only logical choice is to submit. Never. Seize them. Get us out of here, now! Ride it to Resolute. Beam us out. You ever done something like this before? Close quarters combat? Infiltrating an enemy stronghold? Something like that. 
I once spent six days crawling through sewers during the siege of Tofar Ket to retake the Citadel there. That's just one of many campaigns I've served in. My dress uniform is well decorated. I'm glad we're here with you. We need your kind of experience. I should say you do. And I'll be glad to have Lieutenant Itasca with us. She fought shoulder to shoulder with me in that siege. So you're pretty close, huh? She's like... a daughter to me. She's saved my life more than once. She's more than just a comrade in arms. Don't worry. We'll get her and the others free. I'll worry less when that's been done. But once we have my comrades, proper soldiers, we'll be able to retake the bridge. Then, our fleets will catch up to us. The ATP is just down that corridor. Is this the artillery platform? This is the power distribution for the forward armament cluster. Oh, there was combat here. Disruptor burns on the walls. Signs of a grenade detonation. Is there another way in? The only way is through there. We could go halfway around the ship and would end up coming into this same area from a different side. But we'd still have to cross that. The distribution conduits have been knocked loose. The currents in those lines would be lethal. Is there any way to power those down? Each circuit has a control panel that regulates power to the magneto banks. I can track connections between the power lines and the control panels. I should be able to clear a safe path to your crew. We'll get the door open here. It's heavy.
quest is ours. Federation, you made it. Barely. There's a lot of collateral damage out here. They backed us into a corner. We did that to drive them out. Put some space between us and the enemy. Ah! They're here. Get down! I think they've given up on capture. We'll never make it if we go back that way. You! Give me a hand with this! busy.
Come on, hurry! No! No! You can't just run in there. You must live to fight. Let the enemy take them. Hadri and Private Turo. They weren't the only ones. But if we hadn't, it would have been all of us. I'll have to live with that, and I'll answer for it when I die. It's not the Illidian way to leave one of our own behind. It's a sin to do so. We're not gonna die. Not if I have anything to say about it. It's more important that we win. When we were in there, trapped, we agreed that we had to live to fight. Hadri agreed. We said if one of us was taken, the others wouldn't stop. We'd keep going, make our way to the bridge. They died so we could fight on. The Takan don't want them dead. They want to steal their bodies. And steal their minds. The Takan knows everything the host knows. That means... They know our plan. They know we're heading to the bridge. 